Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to create an easy AI that will chase and flee from the player character. So we're going to go to our enemy and in a script we're going to create a variable for the speed which will have a value of 200. The second variable is going to be our player cone position and we're going to give it a value of vector 3 for now. The third one is going to be of enemy velocity. And again, we're going to give it a value of vector three. And we're going to create an unready variable for, for our animation player. So the first function we're going to create is the chase player function. And we're going to give it two parameters. The first one is delta, and the second one is the distance to player, which we are going to create inside the physics person function. So the first line of code is going to be uh, animation player that play walk forward. It's just going to play this animation. The second one is we are going to use the look at function with the player current position and the vector three dot up, which equals to zero one zero. And we're going to use the set rotation function with again vector three. And we're going to use 0 for the x value. For the y value, we're going to get a rotation dot y plus pi. And for the z again, we're going to use 0. So we're going to um, make the velocity equal to vector 3. We're going to create, and uh, we're going to give the velocity plus equals the transform dot basis dot z multiply by the speed and delta and then we're going to give it the movement style function for the free fully play player function we're going to um, make the same code with two changes the first one is going to play the animation walk backward and the second one is with the velocity plus equals we're going to make the speed negative so in the physics process function, we're going to make the player composition have a value of get tree, get root, dot get node, and we're going to take the string, the test level navigation soldier. We're going to take it from here, from that test level. So we got the test level. Inside it, we got the navigation, and inside it, we got our player character, which is the soldier. And we're going to get the global transform dot origin, which is the translation of the player. Then we're going to create a variable of the distance to the player, and we're going to use the function distance to. Now, in the distance to function. What it does is just get the distance between the enemy translation and the player translation. So let's say that's the enemy translation and that's the player translation. Okay, so let's go back. Now, if the distance to player is bigger than 21, we're going to use the chase player function. And we're going to give it the two parameters we used, the delta and the distance to the player. Else if the distance to the player is smaller than 20, we're going to use the flee the player function. Else we're going to play the idle animation. Okay, so let's see how it looks. Okay, so as you can see, the enemy walks back when the distance of the player is smaller than 20. And when it's between 20 and 21, it's just doing the idle animation. And if I go back, and the 
distance to the player is bigger than what you want, then they're going to chase it. That's it for this video.